Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 and in this video I present to you a challenge. The challenge is the quickest rocket to orbit in Realism Overhaul using existing engines or existing SRBs, so no custom engines, that'd be way too easy for me obviously because I could just make my own engine. Uh, but uh, so existing engines and you have to launch the Explorer 1 probe which was the first probe launched by the United States. I did this during my July 4th live stream, and so I had the Electron launch in the corner there. Uh, that was somewhat ill-fated, but uh, yeah, so we were watching that while I was testing out the rockets, and this is the launch that actually worked, but for the most part, they didn't work. Either they didn't fully make orbit, or they blew up, and I sort of anticipated that, which is why I did it on July 4th, because fireworks. But anyway, the core engine here is a Merlin 1D, and it is just a regular Merlin 1D because it didn't need extra thrust and throttling down as it is. And then after that, at the recommendation of Kurovka, one of my viewers who actually got a better time to orbit than I did, I used the Araby sustainer in the AJ-10-27 mode. I didn't expect that that would be a good thing to use, but that is the second stage. And then we still have the third stage, which is a baby sergeant, which is what normally goes with the Explore 1 probe. I don't have the audio on because it's mostly the fellow talking in the Electron live stream there. So you can see us turning with the Merlin 1D. There are lots of issues that come up here, and one of them is far ripping the rocket apart. The other is just sheer control because it's tough to find RCS thrusters that are small enough for the rocket, given the Explore 1 Pro being our payload. Now, you can make a bigger rocket and Kurovka, who got a better time, he got a time of 1 minute and 15 seconds, uh, did use a bigger rocket with more power and more stages, four stages, in fact. Boy, must they have been really quick stages, but... I don't know exactly how that worked out. I didn't ask the details because I wanted some suspense. I didn't want to recreate the same rocket. You can see I'm already past a minute and uh, 15 seconds though. And the trick is you can't coast, right? You can't just coast to apoapsis and then burn again. And here we are using the RCS to spin stabilize for the baby sergeant, uh, which we need to do. And you have to aim the baby sergeant pretty precisely to make sure you actually get your periapsis into space. So this time we got it, we got a space periapsis, but there were a lot of times where I didn't. So it ended up being a minute and 40 seconds to orbit, and Kurovka's record was a minute and 15 seconds. I'm still going to try and beat that. I might have to use a different configuration. I basically stuck to my one Merlin first stage the whole way, but there were a lot of other configurations I used, including just using the baby sergeants in the triple pack and the double pack. Um, use the Gemini lander engine at one point. So you can come up with whatever might work for you and I will come back if I make any improvements to beat Kurovka's record. And for now, I will show you some of the failures set to Kevin McLeod's Americana for the sake of Independence Day fireworks.